Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my edit bay. FTP 10 is running in the background and I wanted to talk about how you create your own plugin presets for your audio workflow. I talked about it quickly on the last video. Uh, links up there or there. And I show you how you do that and uh, let's do this. So we are on Final Cut 10. I did create a master compound clip links below or up here um, when you want to see how that's done and why and uh, I open all your lanes now I have uh, all the voiceover tracks uh, in one lane and one track so to speak all the effects or whatever and the music as well so that it is a little bit more easier on the system and for you it's also nice and and I go ahead and always start with Aiden uh, with an equalizer going with the plugins that came with Final Cut 10 those are the Logic X plugins and they are good uh, you can also use third-party plugins but keep in mind those might uh, slow down your system or mm, going to crash your system unless they are optimized for the new system for new Final Cut 10.4 Next I go into Compressor that is uh, in Levels. Also going with the Logic or Final Cut 10 in this case Compressor. Um, I mean I could uh, just for, for a quick start I always go with a low cut. Pretty much um, 40 hertz, 50 something like that with a steep Q. And that also creates like a little boost here as well, going with like 100 to 200 using this knob here. Um, high cut as well to get rid of like uh, his. Also, this one also good at 10k sometimes. The uh, harsh S loud is there. So maybe a little bit more. Yep, there we go. And maybe like a mid boost. Anyways, this is just for show. <laughs> um, next one, compressor. Always going with the digital one, limiter on, minus one or something like that is all right. Never use the auto gain, that could be tricky. Um, compression fairly high because this is voice over track you can have like tight compressor also depending on the level the input level oh uh, yeah around minus 30 or 20 that is all right the secret source is attack and release on the highest or the slowest setting so to say and keep away from the auto setting here sometimes it can help but um, this way you make sure that the compressor doesn't pump uh, and kicks in too fast or goes out too fast and that can sound unnatural so keep that in mind for voiceover tracks and that's basically it now I can select the plugins here but you always can select them afterwards uh, when you hit this button here this is the secret sometimes an easy step but um, yeah <laughs> and here you could select the plugins as well um, this is a voice over for YouTube so I'm calling this voice over VO YouTube I created a category already but uh, make sure you create your own category because it always ends up in uh, Apple uh, at default and that can be messy and to um, like reorganize them that is a tricky one sometimes because there's no real folder there it kind of saves that in metadata so create your own category I have already one uh, all your post and YouTube so in this case, I'm creating a new one, tutorial, there you go, create this, hit save, and then you have your preset here, and then you can just drag and drop those from this preset folder right to the um, track. So for new projects, you go just in those folders, 
and drag and drop those uh, onto your audio lane. In this case, I'm going with the music master for the music and also with the master for the whole master thingy. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, uh, like or dislike, whatever. And if you want to see more of those uh, videos, let me know. And also subscribe so you can stay tuned in terms of FCP10, Logic Pro workflow stuff and also like A7R Mark III. Because I have um, quite a bit of stuff um, planned for this camera there. Also like action cam and uh, headphones, lots of things. So stay tuned. See ya. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>